welcome back to another Arc Ascended video on official PvE. I've got loads of questions on how to tame a Karkar, so let's get right into it. I spotted a level 10 female Karkar on Volcano. Now, low level females are perfect for breeding, so I went away to find myself the perfect thing to sacrifice. Yes, I call it a Karkar because I struggle to pronounce the correct name, and I have to pronounce this quite a lot in this video. To tame a Karkar, you need to drag a dinosaur body towards it. Let it sniff, and then let the Karkar eat the body. A bar will appear above his head, and once this bar is green, you can hop on it to tame it. We've been trying some different things, and we noticed that Erex, Bronto, or Diplo Baby instantly gives you the green taming bar, and you can hop straight on it. So whenever I spot a Karkar I want, I hunt for Erex, Diplo, or Bronto with a baby. I spotted a Diplo with a baby, so I killed the parent, claimed the baby, and took the baby with me. My Rhineo can carry Brontos, for example, up until Juvie. Your Archie won't be able to carry this, so if you're on an Archie, try to go for Baby Rexes or Diplos. We found the Karkar again, so I land close to her with the baby. Not too close, because you don't want to aggro it yet. Now it's time to kill our baby Diplo. But... It wouldn't be Ark if there wasn't some weird stuff going on. And I couldn't kill the Diplo baby. I don't know why or how, but it didn't work. I tried different methods to kill it, but nothing worked. So, I waited till it starved. As soon as the baby died, I grabbed its body and walked up to the car car. Now this is where you gotta pay close attention. As soon as the car car starts the sniffing animation, you can let go of the body. This is the signal that the Karkar has smelled the body and is going to eat it. I fly up with my tech suit. You can also walk away from it by keeping the Diplo body in between you and the Karkar. Since render distance is super low on official at the moment, I flew up because I want to show you guys what happens and I was afraid to lose render. As soon as the Karkar eats the body, the bar pops up above her. It's instantly green, which means we can instantly hop on. From this point on, you're basically on a meat run. You kill every creature you see, and that gives you the taming progression, which you can see on the bottom just above my hotbar. On the top right, you also see a timer. This is the time until the carper kicks you off of its back. When you don't tame it within this timer, your progress will halt until you find another sacrifice to fill up that bar above its head again. You also want to keep an eye out on its stack meter. You can see this one above the taming progress. Once this reaches 100, you will also get kicked off. And you will have to find another baby again and redo the bar above its head to hop on again. I've heard people say you can do the car car secondary attack to get rid of these stacks and keep going. I've tried this myself on official and this never worked for me. Of course, I could be doing something wrong, so let me know in the comments if this actually worked for you to get rid of these stacks while being in the progress of taming. Also, while you're there, let me know your favorite dinosaur in the comments. I love Dinotalk. When you're taming the Karkar, you want to watch out for incoming damage. This will reduce your taming effectiveness. Not only attacks from other dinos have influence on this, but also fall damage for example, so be careful. Once it's almost fully tamed, I take a look at how much time I have left. I have more than enough to walk back to my flyer and finish the taming there. When you tame the car car, you will get kicked off its back as well, and you don't have a saddle on it. So keep in mind to tame it somewhere where you can go back to pick it up. I hope this video is useful and you get to tame your own car car as well. If you have any more tips, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, or maybe even subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.